Hi, this is Jonathan and Everything Edible Landscaping. I'd like to show you how I use the computer to do the administrative side of my business. So when somebody calls, I open up the link to current clients folder and I create a new folder by duplicating this one. Next I rename that to the client's name. I'll put my name. This will be mine for now. Next, I use LibreOffice, which you can install for free, to open up the current or the consultation questionnaire. And I put in their name, and I put in the address with any instructions about where specifically on the property. And I might put in their phone number. and then their email address. Next I'll export that as a PDF and I'll replace the current PDF and I'll close that up. and save the changes. Now I'm going to send them an email so that they can fill out that client questionnaire. And I've got a template called consultation questionnaire. So that's going to myself. And instead of a linked questionnaire, I'm going to attach something. And I don't want this to be a link anymore. So I'll just delete that altogether. Okay, let's add the attachment. Great. Also, I'm going to add an aerial photo. So for that, I'm going to go to the internet. And I use Firefox along with this, which is called Screen Grab. You can install that extension. And I go to the CRD's Natural Areas Atlas. And then I find the property and I zoom in on it. use this. Found it. Let's go. Double click. Okay, don't need that anymore. I'm going to zoom right in. Six four one one. Once I've zoomed in, I notice that the property isn't fitting on my screen. So I'll drag it down and then hold Alt. Click on the window, drag the window up, and then increase the size of the window itself. Now I can pull it back down. I can see that the whole property fits. Next, I want to be able to see the 
aerial photograph. So I'm change visible map layers. I'm going to turn on the 2019 imagery as well as the property lines and get rid of this. So now I can see that the whole thing fits in my window. Now I want to take a picture of the whole window. So I go over here to screen grab. Complete page. Save the complete page. It's processing. Done 0%. Done 100%. It's going to ask me where to save it. So now I'm going to go back to that folder I just created. Jonathan. Save that in the base map folder. Great. Now, if I want to get a picture from Google Maps, then I use Chrome. Google Maps. And I'll turn on satellite view. And I want 3D. So then I can zoom in. If I hold control, I can change this. But it doesn't look that 3D. Some parts of the world, it'll show the trees will like really be 3D. But I guess not here in Souk. So anyways, when I'm making a map, I need it to be 2D. And since I can't see the lot lines, Google isn't the best. But you can see down here there is a scale bar. So remember that. That could come in handy. OK. Let's take a picture of what Google's got for us. For that, I've put a little panel applet for screenshots where you just click and drag. So when I click and drag, I need to make sure that I get that scale bar. Okay. And I'll put that also in the folder that we just created. Jonathan and the base map. Save. Okay. Now we're done on the internet. Let's go to that folder and open up base map and then open up design. Here we are. So we're on the legend layer. Let's switch to the base layer. And let's import one of those graphics. Jonathan. Base map. CRD Natural Areas Atlas. Open. It's going to be linked or you can embed it. If you're going to be sending the uh, SVG file, which is the file that we will be creating using this program, Inkscape, then you could embed it. But if you're going to send the whole folder, then you can link it. Alright, so now I need to 
put this image to the right scale. Here's how we do that. We've got a scale bar on this template. You can measure it using the drawing tool. It should be 10 centimeters. And if I hold the control button, it'll keep that line perfectly straight. So there we've got 10 centimeters. The number shows up down here. In case you missed that, click there. 9.98, close enough. 10 centimeters. So we move over to the, to the bar of our drawing and we measure that. And we get 2.04 centimeters. You can be more accurate if you want. Use the magnifying glass to zoom right in on there. And then we'll take that pen tool, put it in the middle of this line, hold the control button down so that my line stays straight, right across to there. You can see the measurement is 2.04. Okay, let's zoom out. I'll push minus. So we're going to change this equation by selecting the text. Change that to 2.04. And let's see what it gives us. If we use our calculator, we're going to go 10 divided by 2.04 multiplied by 100. And that's the number that we want to use for changing the size of this. So we'll just plunk it in there. I'm doing Control C to copy it, Control V to paste it. Now I'm going to use the selector tool, select this image, go to Object, Transform. I'm going to Scale, and I'm going to Scale proportionately. And I'm going to paste in here, Control V, that number and click apply. So now it's just increased the size of the image. And if we go back to the scale bar and we use the drawing tool, it should measure about 10 centimeters. So I'll hold control to keep the line straight. There we go, 10 centimeters, more or less. Now we've increased the size of the drawing and it's not gonna fit on one page. This is our page here. So we're gonna have to increase the size of this page how much? So let's take a look and measure the largest dimensions. This dimension here is 82 centimeters. Double click and push delete to get rid of that line. And this dimension here is 31 centimeters. Double click and delete to get rid of that line. So 82 by 31. Now we're going to go back to our folder and open this drawing size calculator. Remembering 82 by 31. So as soon as we get that open, we're going to go 82 by 31. Okay. Now we're going to look up the landscape table, which is this one, and we're going to look up the height that matches closest to 82. So here we are, 83.9. I'm going to type 83.9 in here. Enter. Next, we're going to look up the width in the landscape table that matches closest to the width here, which is 31. It's 54.6. 54.6. Enter. Now we're going to look in the portrait table for the height that matches closest to 82. Oh, that's close, but it doesn't match. So we have to go up to 108.8. Put in there 108.8. Next we're going to look for the width, corresponding width to 31 width 
31 is 42.2. 42.2, enter. Okay, so our best choice is going to be a landscape using these heights and widths. So if we look at the landscape table, we're going to see that 83.9 is 4 pages by 54.6 is two pages, four by two pages. That's how big our design is going to be. So now we're going to go plunk these numbers into our drawing. 83.9 for height. So we'll go File, Document Properties, Height, 83.9. And then Width. one oh eight no sorry fifty four point six fifty four point six enter now you'll see that the drawing page size is much bigger and hopefully everything is going to fit so what we do is we draw a rectangle that shows us the size of the drawing page and then we drag that rectangle over top and it fits just like that. So we'll get it all lined up as good as we want it to be. Then I hold shift and I select both objects and then I go to object, click, clip, set. And I drag this over and I plunk it on my design. We can set these coordinates to zero and that'll put it right where it needs to be. Okay, there we go. Now this is something that we can send to our client. They can use for starting the design. So we're going to go, well first of all save it. Then we're going to go export PNG image. Now before we export we have to select page because we only want to export the page and none of this kind of stuff then we're going to name it. I'll call this one Aerial Photo and we have to tell it where to save to so I'm going to save it in the base map folder. Call it Aerial Photo. Next I have to click Export And when it's done, it'll show up in this folder. You can see it's coming along there. Wonderful. Okay, now we're going to use a program called PostRaiser. So open with PostRaiser. And this is an open source program that you can download and put on any Linux computer. Because we used a spreadsheet to calculate exactly what size the drawing was going to be, these steps are really easy. Just keep on clicking next. 
Oh, except for that didn't work. Bottle scuts. Maybe it's because we have to choose landscape. There we go. Two by four, just like what we planned for. And save the poster. It's going to ask me where to put it. This goes back a folder. Go down to Jonathan. Base map. And I'll save it there. I'll have to give it a name. So I'll put Arial dot PDF. Okay. Now that that's done, I can close this. And I can close this. And I can open up this PDF file. And I can send that off to the printer. I can also go back to my email and see how large it is trying to attach it. So let's go back to that message that we had started. Consultation questionnaire. And let's attach that PDF file. 86 megabytes. Nope, too big. Won't be able to. So I'm going to click cancel. So here's what we do in Linux. Once we have a Gmail account, we can use Google Drive in Linux. And there's it's called Grive. You have to install the packages for Grive. And uh, to make use of it, uh, you open a terminal like I just did. And then you switch to your folder where your file is, where your, no, where your, um, your main folder for your Google Drive. So mine is in documents. It's in everything edible. And then you type Grive. Oops, I'm in the documents folder. I need to be in everything edible. Now, type Grive. And it's going to update all of my folders to Google Drive. So you see over here um, it says link to current clients and I'll show you what that link is pointing to. In my documents folder I have my Google Drive for everything edible landscaping and so all the files in here are backed up on Google Drive and My current clients are in this folder, and Jonathan is here, my base map is there. Now that my Google Drive is done 
being synced. I can go online and I can copy the URLs and share these documents. So I'm going to open up the Jonathan folder on my Google Drive online. Base map. Let's see. We're going to be sharing Arial PDF. Get shareable link. Link copied to clipboard. So it looks like I made a mistake. I'll paste that one there. That's the Arial. That's the PDF, the one for printing. This is the one if they want to print a big on a big sheet. I don't know where they would get a big sheet, but if they want to, this is what they need. Okay. Where did it go? There it is. So, link, paste. Okay. So now they click that link if they want to print their own. Click that link if they want a big photo. And then this link goes back to my website. Talks about what happens during the design consultation. Let's click it and see what happens. Actually, first we'll send this. It's ready to go. Zoom. So about that link and the website. The website is eelandscaping.blogspot.com. So this is the blog and the website link goes to costs. And then people can look here, design consultation. It gives an, an idea about what it is. It's a one hour recorded walk and talk about your land and how I think you should best move forward. So they can download their own questionnaire. And they also get a one to 100 scale color map of your landscape and transparencies. So there's an example. Cool. Bye for now.